what we're trying to do at SRGP is really create an exemplar organisation that can really drive change. So the point of the beach clean isn't just to pick up the rubbish and to clean it up and to leave a nicer place. We've got to stop that plastic getting into the oceans, into the seas, into our rivers in the first place. We're not just out there racing boats. This is a much bigger picture than that. We want to stop the situation where you're seeing pieces of plastic and, and, and so forth contaminating our oceans and our beaches and our waterways. You know, we're sailing on these waters and the least we can do is help, help look after them. It's, it's a small impact, but every little bit counts and um, it's great to be here with a, a good team cleaning up the beach and doing everything we can and the more we can do that, the better. We've got a whole bunch of initiatives that we're looking at. We've got rid of single-use cutlery in our canteens. We've got refillable bottles for all the staff. We probably think, again, that's probably about 10,000 water bottles we won't have in cows this weekend. Taking all our food and, and partnering with local charities, all the food that we don't use, distribute that in, a, in, a, in a, an effective way to people that really need it. The key is for us to really look at each of our areas and say, how can we improve this? How can we change? And we're partnering with World Sailing. that They've got a new sustainability program that we're signed. We've set over 50 really bold and ambitious targets uh, for the sport. They're not just about clean oceans and no single-use plastic. They're about actually making reductions in our carbon emissions. They're about eliminating single-use plastic. And Sail GP have not only demonstrated, you know, wanting to sign up to it, but actually they've developed a strategy, an operational plan that's really, really going to deliver on this over the next few years. <laughs>